Here are the components you'll need to set up the Life 2000 ventilation system in the extended range configuration. The Life 2000 compressor, the compressor's AC power cord and external power supply, the Life 2000 ventilator, the ventilator's AC power cord and battery charger, the Combo 2 hose, a belt clip or carry case for securing your ventilator, and your interface, the Breathe Pillows and Trainment interface. If the patient requires oxygen therapy, the Combo 2 hose can integrate with the patient's oxygen concentrator, which is supplied through their home medical equipment provider. When carrying the compressor, make sure to use the handle, keep the compressor in an upright position, and protect it from falling or dropping. You'll want to choose a location for the compressor where it can be placed upright on a flat level surface where it can't fall. Make sure there's sufficient clearance from surrounding objects and that the vents and filters are not covered. Choose a clean, well-ventilated area where the compressor and ventilation system will not be exposed to the sun or radiant heat. If the patient requires oxygen, place the compressor near the oxygen concentrator. Connect the AC power cord to the compressor's external power supply and cord. Connect the pronged end of the power cord to an AC power source, such as a wall outlet. Verify that the green LED light indicator on the external power supply lights up to indicate the AC connection. Open the power supply connection cover tab on the back of the compressor. Insert the compressor's power supply connector into the power supply connection on the back of the compressor until it clicks into place. It only fits in one direction and the lock tab will be on the top. We're now ready to set up the ventilator in the extended range configuration. With both the compressor and the ventilator powered off, connect the green connector on the Combo 2 hose to the compressor outlet fitting. Once connected, connect the Combo 2 hose oxygen tubing to the oxygen concentrator. If you choose to use the black carry case for carrying and securing the Life 2000 ventilator, it'll need to be placed in the case prior to connecting the ventilator to the compressor. Connect the quick connect in on the Combo 2 hose to the ventilator by pushing the small quick connect in onto the gas inlet connection on the ventilator. When connected, the quick connect in will click into place. Connect the Combo 2 oxygen tubing to the Breathe Pillows Entrainment Interface oxygen port, making sure that it's snugly and firmly connected. Connect the Breathe Pillows Entrainment Interface to the Life 2000 ventilator. The connector was designed so that the interface connector can only be inserted one way. Power on the compressor by pressing the power button for the compressor. If connected to an oxygen concentrator, power it on as well. Power on the ventilator by pressing the power button for the ventilator. Ventilation will begin when an activity button is pressed. The compressor is meant to use AC power, like the plugs in your home, as its primary power source. Green indicates the compressor is connected to an AC power source. When the compressor is on and plugged in, lights in the battery charge scale indicate the level of charge. Blinking indicates that the battery is charging. When the compressor battery is completely charged, the lights will no longer blink. Orange indicates the compressor's internal battery is being used. This internal battery will last for approximately one hour of use. When the compressor is off, press the battery charge status button to see the level of charge. The ventilator has an internal battery that is separate from the compressor. When the ventilator is powered on, you can check the battery level at the bottom right corner of the screen. When the ventilator is charging, the ventilator battery charge icon will display either the charging icon or the icon for 100% charged. We'll cover charging the ventilator in the next chapter.